Some of the time you're shining Stay in the light Stay in the light Most of the time you're complaining <laughs> Some of the time you're shining. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. I just tried something new. Um, this is just matcha, maple, and grapefruit, and honestly, it's so summery. It's really good. I wanted more caffeine, but I didn't want more oat milk because <laughs> I've already had a latte and a matcha latte today. It's hitting, and we're officially getting into like the summer months here. I know it's like back to school when people are gearing up for fall and other places, but this is also the time of the year that the sunlight comes straight into the den, and so it just gets a lot warmer in here. So this is going to be probably my go-to for the next couple couple months I'd bet um, I'm starting the vlog in the evening it's actually about 5 p.m. I've been filming since 9 so I've been filming a lot and I'm a little stuffy and under the weather a little bit so and then I, I also got Serrano in my eye so if my eyes are a little glossy could be the stuffiness could be the Serrano I don't really know but I'm starting the vlog tonight because we actually have a handyman coming over tomorrow to help us get some kind of house projects done and I don't quite know how early he's getting here yet. So I wanted to make sure and say hello and get this started off on a proper note before tomorrow. But I sense that this vlog will have some, some home improvements. I'll show you a couple things I have planned, but also you might notice it's gone. <laughs> the dresser is gone. And the new dresser is gonna get here on Wednesday. This is Monday, so in two days. And this vlog probably, I'll probably continue this vlog till Wednesday. My self tan is almost gone, meaning I'll probably redo it tomorrow or the day after, but when it's like starting to really fade, I'll do a big ol' exfoliation in the shower and then self tan like a day or two later. But I mentioned a while ago that I was able to try out a product before it was announced and I had to keep it like pretty hush hush. It's finally out. I finally get to tell you all about it. I've been waiting for like over a month now. Of course it's from Osea, my favorite. So much of what I put on my skin is this brand these days. I discovered them is officially almost two years ago because an Airbnb had it in their shower. It was the nicest Airbnb I've ever been in. And I fell in love with this brand for so many reasons, but this is their newest launch. This is the Andaria Algae Body Wash. It smells like fresh citrusy. It feels like California, <laughs> you know? But actually, this is a California brand, so that makes sense. It's owned by a mother daughter and it was started literally here in California. Um, and it uses ocean products, as you can tell the algae. Andaria seaweed is in a lot of their products. It's super high in antioxidants. Also amino acids, which is so good for the skin. The thing that I love about this is it's not stripping at all. It has oils in it too, so it leaves your skin feeling so hydrated. It goes really well with this body scrub too. This is what I've been using lately to exfoliate, especially before I tan. The salt of the earth body scrub, them together is secrets out. It's so good. Um, they did give me a code, which is good across the whole site. The Calgancy, 10% off the whole site, whatever you wanna get. Thank you, Osea, for creating beautiful things right here in the US as a family. It's literally family operated. It's so cool. Um, and for sponsoring this video. This is one of the things for the handyman tomorrow. And I wish I could show you all when it's on the house, but it's for the exterior front of the house. So I found fake shutters. I really hope I don't regret this. And I'm hoping to maybe paint them ourselves. I'm wanting to add some additional exterior paint to the house anyways to add some, some contrast because right now every part of our house is the same color and it just is very flat. So I was thinking me painting some siding on our house is a project I can do myself. So I've got the paint already and I figured maybe we can make the shutters the same color as the siding. They're literally plastic. I think from afar, from down below on the street, you're, you're not gonna be able to tell, right? You're not gonna be able to tell. You're not gonna go up and like climb to the second story and knock on the wood and be like, that's plastic. Me really second guessing everything. 
So I think we're going to tonight go to our friend's gig. These are the friends that are moving. They are literally driving away at 4 a.m. tomorrow. So this is actually their last night here. But he has a gig. He, he plays like jazz gigs at random spots and it's at a hotel tonight. So we might go sit in the lobby, support him also as a way to, you know, hang out with them before they drive away at literally 3 a.m. But I do have some more editing to get done before we head out tonight. I think I'm gonna sit in the bedroom because of that AC unit, because it is so hot right now. But sitting in the bedroom while it looks like this is not very zen, not very zen. But I'd rather be hot and peaceful in a clean room or see the chaos and, and cool. I think chaos and cool. <laughs> but I'll take y'all along with us tonight and um, on our farewell, farewell adventure. debated not even talking about this, but I feel like I just gotta fill y'all in. I wanna preface with Max is fine. Max is fine, but nobody knows what happened. Um, so last night we got home and normally Max runs straight to the door and he wasn't anywhere. And I literally looked through the house like three times and I was like, what happened? Like several people have our house code. Did someone come and like, grab something from our house and like accidentally let him out? I couldn't find him and I was freaking out. I looked in every closet and everything. And then I was like, okay, I want to check again. And my closet door was closed. He was in my closet, like asleep, like so asleep. And I woke him up and I was like, buddy, like, did you get trapped? Like what's going on? And he, immediately I could tell something was wrong. Like he just was like doing this. And I was like, I gotta take him to the ER right now. Like, I have no idea what this is. So we looked it up. There's one a pet emergency room. It's actually brand new. That was super close by. Took him in. Like, he like couldn't walk. It was so weird. He would just like, kind of just do this. And they were like, did he eat anything? And I was like, I checked everywhere. No, it didn't look like he got into anything. They were like, is there any medication he could have gotten? And I'm like, I can't think of anything that he could have gotten. They ran so many tests. They did um, like an ultrasound. They did a urine panel. They did a blood panel. They did so many things. Everything came back completely normal. They were like, there's a chance that on his walk, he could have like quickly eaten a medication or something without you noticing. They did a full drug panel, completely negative. Every organ looked fine. Everything was like perfect, but he was very clearly not okay. So we were up all night. They gave him fluids. They gave him anti-nausea. They, like I was up all night watching him. Um, and he seems to be doing a lot better this morning, but um, here's my sleep. <laughs> Everything's red. I was very freaked out, but here's a max update. He just seems to be a little lethargic now, but he's like walking fine this morning. His groomer's coming in a couple days. And I told the vet, I'm like, I, I promise. <laughs> His groomer is literally getting here in two days. I'm sorry that he's he's in need of a bath, but that's what happened. You know how some people have dogs to help them feel less anxious? I feel like dogs just make me feel anxious because I'm just worried about them all the time. I do have something cute to show y'all. Hold, please. This weekend is finally the baby shower. So this next vlog is gonna be the baby shower vlog. So I'm catching up doing more DIY projects. These were, remember the fruit candles we made together? I made blueberries and grapes and flowers. Well, I made a few more. I made oranges, which I think turned out pretty cute. Lemons, which is the exact same pattern. And then the cherries turned out okay. From afar, they're not bad. But we have a full tablescape of DIY fruit candles now for this for the shower, which as you know, the activity for the shower is also candle making or candle painting, wax painting. It's gonna be nice to have these as examples, um, but we have several professional artists coming, so they'll just understand the assignment and then make something <laughs> way better. <laughs> 
but each candle took me probably like 30 to 40 minutes. So this was a labor of love. I'm pretty proud with how they turned out. Such a weird way to ship sparkling waters. But look. Mocktail Waterloo's. Fun for a shower. You never late to work. You said you couldn't see straight. Your arms and legs went numb. It was early summer. I wanted to have fun. Walk around. morning. Today is going to be a big old errand today. A very productive day. Yesterday was not very productive. To be honest, I feel like I hardly filmed. We canceled our plans in the evening just to A, catch up on some rest from not sleeping the night before and B, just be with Max all day. But he's doing great. He's end of the day very playful and he's kind of fully back to himself. So I can breathe a sigh of relief. Well, I can kind of breathe a sigh of relief because I am still stuffy. <laughs> but this morning has already been productive at 8 a.m our new dresser got here. So I need to unload all of my clothes into it. And then at 9 a.m. I had a meeting and now it's 11. I've already cooked breakfast and finishing getting ready. And there's like a million errands I need to run. I need to go pick up meds. I need to go print some things for the baby shower this weekend. I wanna go run, look at Marshalls for a couple things. I need to get like tissue paper and gift wrap. And I feel like that's a good spot to look. Also, where are you guys buying cotton? underwear everywhere i look it's like 20 dollars per pair i need at least 10 pairs and i don't want to go spend 200 dollars on underwear you know what i mean so i'm gonna check i'm gonna check uh marshall's or ross or someplace like that and see if i can just find 100 percent cotton but let me know if y'all have any tips why is underwear so it's like that much fabric you know anyways that's my rant i'll get off that horse um what other things oh i might want to go look at frames again i'm just trying to look like once a week at the estate sale warehouse to see if i can find a cheap secondhand frame because frames are also so expensive and i've been looking for that i have it all written down i don't even quite remember everything for today but um we're gonna we're gonna check things off the list because i literally did not leave the house yesterday but we still got a lot, we still got a lot done around the house thanks to Mitch. <laughs> so that was nice. And I caught up on computer tasks and laid down and hung with Max. So all in all, it was still a great, a great day. You wanna see the new dresser? It's totally different. There she is. We have been saving for a dresser for over a year. Um, this is definitely gonna be like a lifetime piece. It's solid wood. Um, and I did get her on sale. I got her on sale. So it has these shelves and then these drawers. It's less storage than the last one, I think. But these drawers are so wide that I'm thinking about doing like a full sock bra underwear drawer and then a full pajama drawer and then a full workout drawer of like leggings, tanks, sports bras. And then we'll see about this. That's another thing that I might look at at Marshall's is maybe finding some baskets to throw, even like if it's a sock basket or a bra basket or whatever, but also maybe I'll just fold sweatshirts or something here. So we're gonna have to figure out the optimization of all of that. The other thing that I don't quite know is if the mirror that we have on top of this is gonna be weird. Like if it's too tall, because if the mirror is too tall, I could hang it somewhere else, maybe even next to it. I don't know. Let's let's just find out together right now. This mirror is so heavy and my hands are a little slippery from makeup. Ooh, okay. This is what I need to learn to just ask for help. Ooh. I don't know, is it too weirdly tall on top of this tall thing? You know what I mean? Okay, clearly it's been a few minutes. I did my hair and put on clothes and then I tried to put on pants and then I took off the pants and I put back on my stretchy pants. Are you surprised? No, but in that amount of time, Jordy came in and helped me kind of like brainstorm. He's so good at spatial things. It's pretty, 
it's pretty awesome and helpful. He moved this further this way so that it's more centered on this little section, even though it's not centered with the bed. And then we've moved our little air purifier out for now while we have the AC. We moved that over for now. It's such an eyesore, but it's pretty essential right now. Um, and then we'll move the air purifier back in one day when we move that out. It's just a lot of you know, white boxes. And now we have this little seating area, but we're actually dreaming up putting in a corner desk right here um, as a way for me to sit here and do my makeup because right now the best lighting is in the den, but I could also get ready in here. The lighting in my office is not ideal in the mornings. It's better in the evenings. So that's why I don't get ready up there. But one day too, I won't have an office if we're still in this house because we would rather have a guest room and a nursery than an office in a nursery. I think, I don't know, I might change my mind by the time we get there, but to be able to have a workspace here long-term would also be great. So that's kind of what we're thinking. This would be the background of, you know, some of my videos and the lighting is so good in this corner because there's a window on both sides, but not direct lighting. So that's what we're dreaming and scheming. And I found this desk, it's a corner desk from Lowe's and I'm getting to work with Lowe's in a month or so anyways. And I might stop by, there's this, this stone cutting spot. I might stop by and just see, do you guys have scrap pieces of stone? And can we get a piece of stone cut in these dimensions and what would it cost? Because that would be pretty cool to buy a corner desk and then put a piece of stone on top of it. So anyways, let's unpack clothes into this and then strike out for the day. I'm going to be listening, my headphones are dead, but it's out loud to, I'm halfway through this podcast. It's called How to Sync Your Life with Your Period. It has an expert all about your infradian rhythm and how to eat and everything during each week of the month. So that's what I'm listening to. It is What's the Juice, episode 16. My friend sent it to me and said, you have to listen to this and halfway through, but it's pretty fascinating. So I drive by this all the time, House of Granite. We always joke that it feels like it's a, a church of some sort, like the branding of it, but they always have all this stone out. And so I'm just gonna ask them if they ever have little pieces of scraps and if they could cut it to a certain size. Let's go see. They're so nice in there. They let me see all the stones, but they're like, we don't like sell scraps. But she gave me a list of people that do, just like local fabricators that might have scraps left over from other projects, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I might reach out to some of them and see what they got. So that was very successful. On to the next, I think we go to Marshall's just cause that sounds fun. And that's several, several birds, one stone. You know what I mean? So see what we can find. Okay, I'm getting distracted, but the art section here is actually like pretty cute. $14.99, look at that frame. It's like a more vintage-y styled frame and this is um, overlaid, a piece of like, almost like raw edge paper. It's pretty cute, I'm impressed. I feel like these might be good for the little um, like prizes I'm doing for the shower because I can stuff them with tissue paper and Katie is a, is a potter, a ceramicist. And so like one is gonna be chai I bought and a mug and I might do like one other thing and kind of display them as like actual gift baskets. And then these are reusable. So the person can also take that home and use it for whatever they want. So I think that this is a good solution for the prizes. $7.99, like honestly, if I were to try to do something else, it would probably be the same cost anyways. And I have leftover little filler paper from some packages. I just need to find like a little bit of cute tissue. So I think that's nice. And then for my closet, as much as I love like all the wicker, I kind of feel like something clear that I can see into would be most practical. They'll be closed behind the cabinet anyway, but these are basically $6 a piece, which is pretty good. 
I feel like that's most practical. There's also these small ones that I could use for like socks. I wonder if those are too tall. Those look too tall for the drawers. Just brainstorming. Another task done. Just printed out this game for the baby shower. I'll have to show you, I'm pretty proud of it. It's so simple. We're doing one activity and then two like prize games. So we're doing the candles and then only one written prize game because we both concluded that if you do too many written prize games, it starts to feel like homework. But I made up this, I'm gonna cut these in half so everyone's gonna get just like a little half sheet like this. And it's baby pictures of her and her husband. And people are gonna fill in underneath and guess the age of every photo and whoever gets the most correct will win one of the prizes. So, cute little easy game. I got them on cardstock so they feel a little more durable as well and I just designed that on Canva. Pretty easy. Pretty easy, pretty cute. Okay, prescription. That's the last of the kind of essential. And I'm feeling a little tired, so maybe we do that and go home. Can I help you? Hi, I'm picking up. What's the name? Uh, Christian Jancy, J-A-N-S-E. Appreciate it, have a good one. Thanks. Woo. I drove up and there's no line that never happens. Woo, okay. Show everyone how much better you're feeling. You're feeling so much better today. Oh, thanks for the kisses. Thanks, ba. Whoa. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh, and there's a bop being written in here. on a song that he didn't necessarily like and I told him I think it's like one of the best songs ever and then he sent it to some music friends and they also think it's one of his best songs ever and so now he's actually working on it for the album because I was right but those are only two of the stems that's only the um like synthetic drums and the acoustic it's all I can show you right now but when it's all together ooh, it is a it is a bop it is like the dance song of the summer I really hope I really hope it makes the final cut because I've been begging for it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, let's test our new little, oh. I didn't bring my tape measure, but I measured with my fingers. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that these are the right height. So incredible, they are. I might even be able to do four cross. Is that gonna work? <gasps> Oh my gosh, do you see that? That looks custom made for that. Okay, so I can throw some things into these, fold some things up here, and then I was hoping for socks, bras, and underwear that these smaller ones would fit inside these drawers. If I can get them apart. I am so shocked. This actually had more storage than my last dresser and I thought my last dresser was so much bigger, but I fit in everything from my last dresser and then all of my sweatshirts, which took up two things in my closet. So now I have the things in my closet to maybe organize and spread out sweaters or pants. I'll do that another day, but I'll show you the layout I ended up doing. So up here I have sweatpants sweatshirts most of these are like pretty sentimental but i'm realizing i have more sweatshirts than i thought so no more sweatshirts for me extra sheets for our bed these are all just like scarves and hair ties which is hilarious this is the random thing like i have wrist pads or wrist braces replacement air filter <laughs> these are bralettes and bras but i do think i need to go through all these i don't wear pretty much all of them just because I've had them since I was probably 19, especially these bras, and I just don't think they're my size anymore. So, future project, go through that. This is all socks, underwear, that sort of thing. I wanna get one more of these for back here, um, but long socks, short socks, I also have to go through my underwear because that, we've already talked about that. And then this is all pajamas and loungewear. I have pajama shorts, sets, long pants long sets so that's all pretty organized and then down here is all workout i have the um the tanks i wear every single day 
So th those have their own row. And then other workout tanks, leggings, shorts, sports bras, and room to grow or to reorganize. I'm sure I have more tanks in the wash since I wear them every day. I have one more project we can do together that I'm actually so excited for, pretty proud of. I've been waiting to do it. I've been waiting because I wanted to do just like an all-in-one bedroom redo video, but I decided that if I did that, I would feel pressured to like buy everything at once for the sake of the video. And then I might rush into some decisions and regret them. So I've decided that I'm just gonna slowly do these things and vlogs as I get to them. Like I said, in a future vlog, doing the corner desk and then eventually figuring out this art situation maybe with a DIY frame. But for now, I was looking at figuring out permanent lamps. If you remember, I bought these when we moved in, they're paper. <laughs> I feel like they look pretty cute, but they're actual paper. So um, I bought them thinking, you know, this will be a, perm a temporary solution, we'll find something permanent. But I was looking at, I wanted like a wicker light. It is crazy how expensive. I wanted something hanging similar to this. And literally I'd click on one I liked and it would be like $600. And I was like, what the heck? But I ended up finding these shades on Amazon for $30. And I thought I can just use the existing little cord kit that I have. It's not the best, it's not the cutest, but it's so worth spending $30 as opposed to hundreds. The weird thing about Amazon is it only let you buy one of these. So I bought one and then I waited a few days and I tried to buy the other and it let me. And I was like, that's so weird. I've never seen that before on Amazon. I had a, an order maximum limit of one. So I'll link these, but just keep that in mind. But the quality is so good. And I feel like probably the exact same quality as the companies that charge so much. So all you have to do is have a lighting kit, which you can buy just a cord with the bulb at the end for, I don't know, 10, $12 sometimes. So let's replace the shades. Well, there's the new shades. I don't know what happened to that bulb. Did it die coincidentally when I unscrewed it or did I mess something up? I'm not quite sure. But what do we think? The one thing I did like about these is the scale was slightly larger. So give me your thoughts. I think, I think it is bringing in some of the kind of 70s surfy shack vibe that Jordy loves. So I feel like it's a good move. But give me your thoughts because I still have these as well. And Amazon's Amazon. You can return things so easily. Ooh, I heard a splash in the pool and I think it's time for pool time. Jordy has put these chairs over here. My shade's kind of gone at this time of day, but so that I can sit with my feet in the pool and not get wet at all. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and upload the footage. I've been vlogging for three days, but honestly guys, I really hope I gave you an enjoyable video. I feel like life really kind of life the last few days and I was feeling, it was a triple whammy. Sick, sleep deprived slash really stressed about Max and starting my period within the next 24 hours. So the hormones are hormoning and I really, I really hope this was an enjoyable video, but I feel like I don't even remember what all we did in this vlog, but I do remember that Osea is the best. Thank you Osea for sponsoring this video. I will have code Mikkel Jancy in the description box for 10% off of your order. And I will see you guys for the baby shower vlog. And I'll be here for a little bit. You wanna wave bye? <laughs> Hi, do you go adventure? Do you go explore? Kisses. Thanks. Okay, bye.